my name is Robert, I'm with Collector's Firearms, and today I want to talk to you about one of the most iconic rifles of World War II, the German K-98K. This gun was a standard issue service rifle for the German military from 1935 to 1945, and in those 10 years over 14 and a half million were produced. This gun certainly has an interesting history. Let's take a closer look. All right guys, we're here in the back to take a closer look at the K98K Mauser. Uh, so this gun is actually chambered in eight millimeter Mauser. We have a stripper clip here. The stripper clip holds uh, five rounds. The receiver of this rifle is actually cut to accept stripper clips, which aids in faster reloading. This rifle was originally produced by Mauser, but in order to meet the demand of the German military, other manufacturers had to step in and were contracted to build the rifles. Uh, many manufacturers such as Irma Werk, Sauer & Son, Guslav, Steyr, and Waffenwerk uh, were contracted. Some of these were in Germany, some of these were in Czechoslovakia. The manufacturer of the K98 can be determined by the receiver code on the rifle. This one in particular is AR, which designates that this gun was made in Borsigwald. Germany. Early guns were produced with a hardwood stock and a flat butt plate, whereas this one uh, was produced in 1944, so this gun has a laminated wood stock and a cupped butt plate. Now this gun still has the stock disc, which aids in the disassembly of the bolt. This gun also has a ribbed type front band. The first guns were produced with an H style and a smooth style front band. This gun still retains the bayonet lug and the cleaning rod, which were absent on later models, which were called the Kriegsmodell. Uh, this gun still has the front sight hood, which uh, were not originally produced with the guns in the early models, uh, but during the early years of the war, they decided to put a front sight hood on the gun, and that hood actually disappeared with the later models of the gun as well. Disassembly of the Mauser is quite easy. Uh, just open up the bolt right here. There's the latch on the opposite side of the rifle and pull and your bolt is out of the gun. This makes cleaning and disassembly quite easy, especially in the field, uh, which is necessary for the proper maintenance of a rifle. Many of these rifles were actually captured by the Soviets and repurposed and reissued during the war and after the war. Uh, some ways to tell if a Mauser has been captured by the Soviets. Uh, you will see an X marked on the receiver. Sometimes the uh, gun and the wood will be refinished and the bolt itself will have uh, an electro pencil serial number. Sometimes the serial number will be all matching, sometimes the serial number will be force matched along with other parts on the rifle. After the war, many of these guns were uh, parceled out to different countries around the world. Uh, perhaps more, most interestingly and most notably uh, would be the rifles that went to Israel after the war. Many of these guns were uh, overstamped with a Star of David and were eventually rechambered for 7.62 NATO in the 60s and these guns extended their, their service life. In, well into the 60s and 70s and went on to serve different countries. As time goes on, the 98K proves to be more and more popular, especially with the 75th anniversary of D-Day having just happened. 
uh, more and more historical events seem to be farther and farther away, but get brought back into memory and thus uh, make firearms like this one more and more popular. Again, my name is Robert with Collector's Firearms, and I want to thank you for tuning in to our video about the German 98K. Please follow up on our website, collectorsfirearms.com. Uh, please subscribe to the YouTube channel, follow us on Instagram, and like us on Facebook.